Here's how I did the 3D scans for my project Where Did The Day Go? A few months ago I clicked on this video and this video and this video and I got really into a rabbit hole about this new emerging technique called Gaussian splatting. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D Gaussian splat. I researched and figured out the biggest limitation. You can't do moving scenes. It's static scenes only. I still wanted to try and do a film with it. So when am I static? For example, when I stare at my phone like a zombie. When I scroll endlessly in search of dopamine. So this was a story I wanted to tell. We just captured videos with a fixed focal length, no motion blur, and everybody needs to be holding still. <laughs> Freeze! And I scanned various scenes with our actress Rebecca, just pointing my Sony FX3 at her, and we generated around 1,500 stills. You need to grade those beforehand, because then you put them in a software called PostShot to generate a point cloud, and then the Gaussian splatting itself. So it basically trains with these images some sort of AI magic. So it looks at all those images and generates a point cloud, but also little spheres that look from every angle a little bit different. So you can have reflections, for example. Unreal Engine, Unity and After Effects are all able to render those splats. I felt like these scenes captured the feeling I was trying to express. I was closing one app on my smartphone to go to the next one, looking for a notification or a video. It wasn't the content itself, but the way it was presented that was stimulating. The crazy camera moves were intended to visualize the rush and excitement while we basically all waste our lives away. What a day, huh?